let's throw some jabs. The fight starts now! Well, Sergio, Zerto Ramirez has his sights set on Dimitri Bivol, but he is also eyeballing another weight class. Zerto told us on Beyond the Bell that he is considering a move to cruiserweight where he could potentially challenge one of the 200-pound titles later this year. Sergio, do you like the idea of Zerto at cruiserweight? No, I don't, because like you said, I think uh, Cruiserweight is a weight station to heavyweight. I mean, look at what Usyk had to do. He became undisputed at, at Cruiserweight, but he had to go up to a heavyweight to get finally recognized and appreciated and, and, and put in the top, top pound for pound list uh, by everybody because he couldn't fight anybody at Cruiserweight. So no, I think that's a wrong move. Stay at light heavyweight where the, where the wild things are, like that book. That's where the monsters are at 175. You got Better Be you got Joe Smith, you got Bevo. That's where the money is. That's where the big names are. That's where you stay if you're Ramirez. You're not gonna bounce around uh, winning titles from people we never heard of. Stay at 175 and make some noise there. Yeah, but you mentioned Better Be Smith, and Dimitri Bevo. It would be great if Ramirez can get one of those fights, but those fights feel like a pipe dream right now. Now, officially, Ramirez is the number one contender for Dimitri Bivol's title, but if Canelo Alvarez rematches Bivol, he's not gonna get that shot. If Bivol can cut a deal in the next couple of months to face the winner of Better BF Smith, Ramirez is not going to get the shot. So he's in a good division, but he's not going to get the biggest names in that division probably over the next calendar year. So why not try your hand at cruiserweight? I mean, Sergio, he is a cruiserweight. He weighed in on Friday last week I, yeah. at 175 pounds. On Saturday, he weighed in at 204 pounds. He was a heavyweight when he stepped into the ring against Dominic Bozel. So I think he, his body can handle it. And there's a method to the madness of going to cruiserweight. He knows that Canelo Alvarez at some point wants to add a fifth weight division world title. If Zerto Ramirez can go up to cruiserweight and grab one of those belts off one of the title holders, he can then dangle it in front of Canelo and say, look, you didn't want to fight me at 168 or 175. I've got a belt here at the 200 pound weight class. Come and get it from me. So I think there's more than one reason why Ramirez should look at cruiserweight. So you're talking about just to go up to dangle a belt at Canelo. That's if he wins a belt at cruiserweight just to, for what? For he can get a fight with Canelo where Canelo's not, you know, Canelo's going to be chasing Bevo for those belts again. I think 175 is where he stays. And here's another thing. Whenever a fighter starts going up in weight, it, he kind of gets comfortable there. He gets lazy to make it back down. There's also dangers of uh, dehydrating yourself and going back down. It, there's a lot of trouble in going up in weight. A fighter gets comfortable and the, the body gets accustomed to it. And yeah, Sudo Ramirez weighed 200 pounds going into that fight. He's a big guy. Anytime you have a tall fighter with wide shoulders, when they rehydrate, they can put on weight. It's not like shorter fighters. So I, I just think it's a bad idea going up the cruiserweight. There's no names up there. There's no money. So why go up there just for a belt and like you said, dangle it? That's gonna be another year, year and a half before Canelo takes care of business with Bevo, maybe with Golovkin. So I just think it's a bad idea. Yeah, but right now, unless he's going to fight, say, Joshua Buwazi, a fight that I would love to see, by the way, uh, there's no big names and there's no big money for Ramirez at light heavyweight. And who knows if he can stay at light heavyweight for a year or so, while he waits for Canelo. Sergio, you kind of talk about his wide shoulders and how big he is. I don't care how big he is. He put on 29 pounds in one day. I've never even heard of anything like that. Almost 30 pounds overnight is what Gilberto Ramirez rehydrated to. I find it hard to believe that over the next year, he's physically going to be able to make that weight as he gets a little bit older and it puts on a little bit more muscle in his training camps. I just think it's at some point he's going to outweigh that division anyway. Might as well be proactive about it. There's nothing proactive about going to a weight station at cruiserweight for one, two, going, you know, blowing up in weight just to pick up a belt when you're planning on coming back down, I would expect. Yeah, but maybe he I, wouldn't, Sergio, maybe he wouldn't come back down. Maybe he would say, Canelo, But just stay at cruiserweight and wait for Canelo? Well, look, maybe he goes to heavyweight after that. Who knows? Like, maybe he wants to win a title in the 200 plus pound weight class. Clearly his body can handle the weight. So 
You know, I, I think you wait for Canelo, no, dangle that no. belt in front of Canelo, and then see what happens. Just because you can weigh 200 pounds doesn't make you a 200 pound fighter. Ramirez can't carry that power. Yes, he was able to stop a light heavyweight, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to knock out fighters that are coming down from 230 to 200 pounds. That's the difference. It's not what you weigh in at, it's what you're coming down from. Ramirez went up to that weight. There's fighters that, uh, heavyweights, that are gonna be coming down. They're gonna be naturally more bigger. Heavyweight's a terrible idea, Mannix, because Ramirez is not a mover like Usyk. He doesn't use the angles. He doesn't have that IQ from the Olympics and all that. Light heavyweight, cruiserweight, in the middle of that is the highest he should go, but I just think where the wild things are, I'm gonna stay with that analogy. Remember that book. Remember, and it was a pipe dream. Max, remember Max went to the different islands and you know, he was just dreaming, but finally he woke up. Well, that's what I think is gonna happen here. Ramirez is gonna wake up, he's gonna beat one of these monsters. Oh, uh, look, if he can get that fight with Bivol, great. If he wants a fight with Joshua Buatzi, Awesome, but I do think there's an upside in moving to cruiserweight and trying to get one of those titles.